Kia! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you really threw yourself off, didn't you, bitch? I, did. I was trying to do something. Kia! Silly. But it was too much. It was just too much. Uh, hey, what's no, up? I'm Oscar. Hi, hi. Um, ho! Bang bong! <laughs> Never mind. This is stupid. This is fucking dumb. I'm mono. And we're on a definitive quest or whatever to find what again, Mono? I don't know, like fucking 100 music videos, but like whatever. Like if you don't like like only if you think. Yeah, yeah. Only and like, you, you know, well, we don't even get to say at all. So, you know. Yeah, we're too stupid. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, my God. I forgot to say this is called podcast. Kill the video star. Stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay listen Isn't this a TikTok hi bitches thing? i don't know don't ha- i'm 36 <laughs> don't ask me i don't fucking know ooh, i literally just, got clowned ooh, you just doubted yourself damn i got clowned this week because i'm like i just started watching tiktok videos and i literally was in a group of people who were like mm, seven years younger than Oof. me and yeah exactly uh and i literally just by accident was like you know, I started following a TikTok video called LA in a Minute that is fascinating. And I, I, everyone laughed at me in my face. Like, because I just was a dad talking about TikTok. Oh, God. Yeah, it's, um, we're old, Mono. Yeah. We're very, very But old. you're old, but you know what's <laughs> older? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, last week you kept talking about we, we, we. Now this week you you straight up separated the both of us and saying you are old. I don't know. I, I, I Look, I'll be old with you, bitch. I'm not mad we at being old. We are both old. Okay, we're both on this old boat together. Okay. Yes, we're old. But you know what's older is the flashback in time you can enjoy if you go watch Mix on HBO Max. <laughs> Woo! What? It's an out. insane segue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not well. What is I'm not doing well. Segue? That's right. That's right. Because my friend being on an HBO show has made me lose my mind. <laughs> <You're> so stupid. <laughs> Bitch, Minx is out. Minx Are is you officially excited? out. Episodes one and two have aired already. They are on HBO Max. So stream it. Yes. It's called Minx M I N X. So Bitch. it's cute. It's cute. It's fun. We're having a blast. And uh, I cannot yeah, wait. Stay tuned for more apps. This is from the past, but if you are just checking in with us, it is a fucking iconic comedy show about the development of the first ever all male nude magazine in the 70s. And Oscar plays the damn photographer. That's right. It is. So I can't wait. The trailer was next level and I can't wait. It's fun. It's fun. I mean, series regular fish. Honey. Bitch. Okay. You better own it. You better. You okay. better see baby. See baby. <laughs> On my trailer, it's, my name isn't written in tape, baby. You see oh, that? no. My trailer was still written in tape. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, I'm trying to pump you up. <laughs> but like, you're series regular, but barely, bitch. You gotta get tape. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> The but point that's is that's true. out. That's I had a really nice trailer. I had a really, really nice trailer. You know, look, time travel is the moment right now, not only in your life, but on this podcast. Which Isn't is also right? my life. That is your life. <laughs> so I'm living you in the are... past, baby. I mean, that's the category for me. Always. 2022. No, 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 no. We're going back to 2002. Why? Because Ooh. this episode, we are trying to find out the definitive music video of the two thousands oh my god what a oh, decade baby, the baby. Ups were wow i mean wow wow it was a bad time for songs um it's not a good music decade let's just call it what it is some people would really argue with you there though some I'm people would say, say we- it was the best time mm. for pop music well, you know, early 2000s are pretty good. But like we said in the last episode, what's interesting is that this whole decade is about fighting sadness. Mm-hmm. It is about ignore your feelings, be happy. Mandy Moore just bought a lime green beetle and everything's going to be okay. So I I don't know. It's an interesting time. For me, the most notable artist of this decade is Lady Gaga. Like for me. What like, year did she come out? Uh, oh five, oh six, oh seven okay. area. 
So for me, that is the big win. Mm. However, she's not featured. She's not featured in this episode. Whoa, because whoa, we... whoa. Wait a second. That's big because here's how this podcast works. For those of you oh. who have not tuned in to a single episode. Yes. The way that this works is that Mono, myself, and us collectively decide on a music video that we think is the definitive music video of the aughts. And what y'all do, because we don't get a say... Y'all do. Y'all go on our Instagram at Podcast Kill the Video Star and vote for the corresponding still. The video with the most votes gets to move to the top 100 music videos of all time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And y'all have to do it by getting into that Instagram. Just like Oscar said, we have to repeat this because not a lot of our listeners vote, which is <laughs> like true. totally gaggy. That's true. That's your prerogative, but only a portion of you vote. If you want, you have your voice heard, you need to go Absolutely. vote on our Instagram. Absolutely. Listen, this is it's a fun, collaborative it's easy, it's free. process. It's a collaborative po- podcast. Um mm-hmm. So, yeah, vote. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Vote, bitch! And if you want even more of your voice in the cut, you can give us coins and force us to watch your music video. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. Click wherever you're anchoring, potting, or YouTubing. And if, and then you can, like, you know, throw us some coins and we watch your music video. Yes, but if you're an anarchist and don't believe in money at all, you can give us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify and then drop your music video pick in the review and we might cover it in the future yes and if you're just a youtube bitch subscribe comment like it helps our pod get shared with more of the internet absolutely so back to the 2000s bitch you said the music sucked to me i just feel like pop music was everywhere i think the 2000s were really sort of the saturation of pop music. You know, yeah. you got your boy bands. That was huge. You got your pop yeah. divas. You know, it was all sort of, it was overrun by teenagers. It was a teenager's it era. It was. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of a, the. I know music is always product driven. Like, obviously, like music was more raw in the 70s and 80s. It began to become a little bit more product driven in the 90s. But by 2000s, baby, it was the factory that what? A factory that actually does produce products. Ooh, and you hate which is that. why I hated <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why I hated it. And it's like, at this point, they were just like, how do we do it again? How do we do it again? Mm-hmm. How do we point a re- how do we point a camera at it and turn Dream into the next great girl group? Right, right, you know? right. Or Eden's Crush or Girl Licious. You, you know, it was Or Danity Kane. Or Danity Kane. We saw all we saw a lot of that. We saw the Don't get me of- started on Aubrey O'Day. <laughs> Don't get me started okay, no, on Aubrey O'Day. What, what, what did you, you got to say about Aubrey O'Day? No, you just know I hate her. It's just, it's just in the air. <laughs> I, we already, we've already said it. If you follow us, you know oh, that I saw true. Aubrey O'Day <laughs> Photoshop naked pictures of herself next to me uh, on in a coach in an airplane, knowing fully well everyone's watching her naked body. So, yeah, I have, I have baggage with Aubrey O'Day, and my heart is what D A M A G E D. I thought you were gonna say. Your heart will go on. <laughs> Thousands. Uh, okay, so. Okay. Um, Mono, you have a music video prepared for us. Yes. I have a music video that I have prepared for us. But now, we're going to put that aside. We're going to put a pin okay. in those. And we're going to talk about our Yaz worthy music video. Because one of the big staples that came out of the 2000s was the birth of Total Request Live. Heard of her? TRL oh, was her. literally the moment and it was a big, like music videos lived and died by TRL. For those of, cause they're yeah. mono, this might come sh- as shocking news to you, but there might be some listeners or viewers who were not alive during Shut the TRL era. No. Do you no, want no, to explain no, no, to them no, no, what no, Total no, Request no, no, Live no, was no, no, all no. about? La, 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 la. I can't hear you. My fingers are in my ears. I cannot hear you. And that's a joke for the YouTube audience. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, t- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh my God. The joke, the joke is not what I'm saying. It's <laughs> what's on screen. Um, <laughs> Hey guys, check out the TikToks. <laughs> oh um, so TRL was a 
a show that was broadcast live for on MTV, filmed in Times Square, hosted by Carson Daly, amongst other celebrities. And it was the live TV version of uh, what, how radio shows used to work because radio shows used to take requests of songs you wanted yeah, like played. Like Casey Kasem, you know? Exactly. Mm-hmm. This was now that applied to, like, the TV generation. Kids loved it. It was on after school. Uh, what am I missing? No, I think you covered it all. I mean, and this is where we saw the rise of Britney Spears music videos and Sync Backstreet Boys. This is where artists showed up to the show to premiere their music videos. We had Mariah Carey and her epic meltdown happen at mm-hmm. TRL because of glitter. You oh know? my God. What, what were some oh, iconic... She melted down? What was her? You don't remember that moment? I mean, vaguely. She, com- I she think... comes in, she like just sort of bum rushes the TRL studios. They were not ready for her. She shows up with like an ice cream cart. What? And she's like, just sort of lost in. People were like, what is going on? Carson Daly looks so confused. Y'all have to check it out. Mariah Carey really just lost it. Wow. What are some of you, what's I your favorite or a memorable TRL memory that you have? I remember when they would have boy bands come and perform. I think that was really funny. Mm-hmm. Honestly, because they were like, they were uh, Yes, because they would make them perform on the smallest s- little spot. Like there would be there would be stinky little teens crammed into this little small studio space, and they would have to do their choreo in about like w- like four square feet of space. So like they're trying to look cool while having no room to dance. They already can't dance, <laughs> and the they don't have the editors on their side like they do in the music video. They just have this live broadcast camera kind of showing off how meh their footwork is Ooh, wow okay and that is a read mano is a what hater okay that's what they call a read but bitch let's let's get into this let's, I, get let, into let's it. watch yes. this video as we talk about trl culture yes so one of the big things about trl is it's a countdown show so the i did a little bit of research and i found out that the number one most requested video on trl is the Backstreet Boys, Shape of My Heart. Oh my god. <laughs> this one? Not even everybody? Not even, uh, mm. uh, uh, what's another Backstreet Boys song? I don't even know. What's, um, the, what's their big song? I Want It ew, That Way. Remember that Not fan? even I Want It That Way. That's what I was I expecting. Want it that way. I Want It That Way is better than this song. And so is like, ooh, no, I hate that song too. You know that song, Larger Than Life? Ugh, that's like a song yeah, to their fans. No. I, was, I, hate I was not that a Backstreet song. Boys fan. I was more of an NSYNCer for me. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. But yep, you know, yep, yep, I was yep. in the wrong because every literally everyone voted for the Backstreet Boys shape of my heart. It stayed in the number one spot for 61 days, which is insane that it stayed there for that long. And it just kept yeah. being on TRL. So this is our Yes Worthy music video. Backstreet Boys Shape of My Heart. Shall we play Bitch. it? Let's get let's get this torture over with. Ah! Okay, okay, ready? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Boys. <laughs> nah. Boys. Sometime no, a girl just no. needs one. That's also two thousand. Austin Powers soundtrack. Yes, that is. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Is this Brian? This is Brian in some like it looks... sickly blue green tint. Why? Right. They're, What's they're the artistic choice? They're artists. They're trying to. They're, that's how funny. They have, they lack so much in artistic integrity that they're now on their fourth studio album trying to prove they're artists. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but wait that a second. Is sad. They're, but they're like writing songs, you know, they're drinking coffee. This is a very I sort of. I think they're like, auditioning. What? Are they auditioning or are they. Oh, wait. Wait, no, no, no. Because... I thought they were writing the musical. No, these people are casting the show. Right, they're auditioning for the part. <laughs> they're auditioning to be part of the Backstreet Boys play. <laughs> Wait, no, they're like, what they're doing is they're auditioning to be part of the chorus. That shit is so whack. What? Right, that is really why. Oh no! Empire, well, there is a guys. lyric. Love yourself. There's what? There's a dorky lyric that says, L- "I played my part, tried to keep you in the door." So like, oh my god, sadness is beautiful, and I love this lyric. Loneliness is tragical. It's tragical. It's tragical. 
Well, listen, if Andrew Lloyd Webber can get away with Jellicle Cats, <laughs> Backstreet Boys can get away with Jellicle, Tragical. Jellicle, Jellicle, Jellicle Cats. Okay, what's Jellicle. going on here? Are they, like, fucking under the table? What's going I'm so confused. It's very confusing. Is, I think that they're auditioning. Right? Or are they just fooling around? I think they're auditioning for her attention. Like it's it's like a play she don't want through it, the lens. Mono. She's she's not giving exactly. it to them. Exactly. Exactly. Even though they should be getting it from old old boy. The old boy is the hot boy old in BSB. We talking? all know oh, it. Oh, Kevin, obviously. Old boy. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah, vampire zaddy for sure. Yes. But it's oh like my God. Showing, you know this is they are auto tuned to hell. It's so funny because it's like they're being serious, but then they're also being silly, Ew. and they're being you know it's like. What Nick is, Carter's gross. This is too late for y'all to be doing this kind of stuff. Nick Carter's disgusting. <laughs> and he is like everything wrong with twink culture. He is everything wrong with like, we're being sold a bill of goods that is false. We're being sold that Nick Carter is the hot one here. And he, my friends, is an undercooked breadstick. <laughs> he is not, he's not cute. He's not sexy. This has to stop. Give me the mic, bitch. <laughs> Give me the fucking mic. <laughs> Holy fuck. Too much? Okay, she got words to say. All right. Too much? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just sick of this. I'm just sick. Anyway, what but else are you seeing in this music video? this was the sensibility in the 2000s, though. Nick Carter's aesthetic was literally yeah. all, everything. And if you didn't look like Nick Carter, you were ugly as hell. He's got a fucking mop on his head. He looks fucking stupid. Why bitch, that, I'd rather though? sleep with Why Toad. Why am I mad though? Why am I mad though? <laughs> because I would rather fuck Morgan McMichael's <laughs> All Stars 3 performance than this fucking Mushroom Kingdom toadstool clown. You're a clown, baby. You a clown. So squeak, squeak, squeak and get the fuck out of my auditorium. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like you. You think? Really? I don't think, I don't know if, I don't know if you conveyed that. Oh my god. Oh shit. Wow. That was shape of my heart. That was Baxter Boy's shape of my heart. Now right off the bat, Mono, do you think this Do you think it's deserved to be the number one most requested song in TRL history? What do you what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> What do you well, think? I mean, what were we on then? Like, what were we on in the year 2001 when this song was literally everywhere and popping in number one I on mean, TRL? I mean, apparently uppers, downers, and candy corn. I mean, this, uh, it's pretty lame. It's like, has this sleepy vibe. It's trying to pr- prove it's something cute. Or it's like, like, it's edgy. We got the flat iron hair from, oh, God. Oh, the Howie poor D. backs. Ooh, that Howie. damaged ass hair, girl. Oh, no, fuck. The With mood. the creamy crack in his hair. No, 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 no. no, no. 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 Doesn't look good on it. And that's also, I'm also triggered by that because, you know, Howie is Latinx and they were like, baby, we love you, but can we whiten you up and yeah. straighten your hair? Um, what was your question? I don't like this music video. What do, <laughs> what do you, what do you, what, what do you, what do you get from this music video? Um, you know, I, what, what do I get from this music video? Not much. I, a lot of confusion, really. Um, yeah. I think what I get is, the Backstreet Gonorrhea. Boys, I, I, at first I thought they wrote Shape of My Heart, the Backstreet Boys uh-huh. musical. And they were casting uh-huh. roles to play the romantic leads. But you're right. Like, there's a casting director and right. I guess a producer or another director there auditioning the two leads. And they're just, like, around? So I'm like... Uh-huh. Who are they? Are they the lyricists? Are they maybe they're maybe they're the composers of the music? But then why are they in the scenes? Why are they everywhere? They tr- I, you know what they are? They're ghosts. They're ghosts that haunt that theater. Okay, now I okay now I like this a little bit more because okay. that explains like sort of that blue tone everywhere. Like uh-huh. and the people don't see them because you see like they don't interact with anybody else in yeah. the play at all. So it's just them interacting with each other. These boys were going on a field trip to Broadway to see Chicago and uh-huh. died on a bus ride there. And now <laughs> their souls inhabit the theater oh, no. where they try okay. to make a musical and no, unfortunately no one can hear them. So 
That to me is what the music video that, is about. I'm here for that. Mm-hmm. That makes it much more interesting. Um, and it gives them a pass on their lack of stage presence. Yeah. But I'll say, yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting, weird one. I think they just, they wanted to be artists and, um, they're not. So, is there a lay you in any of this to you? You know what? I'll give a lay you to old, old boy. I love old boy. I want to sleep with him very much. His name is Kevin Mono. (laughs) Not old boy. Psst. Old boy. Psst. <laughs> what? Psst. Old boy, come here, baby. Oh my God, you're so rude. <laughs> What's your lay you? Um, my lay you was trying to decipher this music video. I think I had a lot more fun trying to figure out what, what the hell was going on than what yeah. I actually saw. So the story of the yeah. ghost Backstreet Boys um, haunting the sacred grounds of the theater is um, my favorite thing. Yeah. 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 Well, bitch, we got more ooh-aughts to dive deep into, don't we? Yes, we do. But first, a break. Oh. Okay, Mama, did you cool off? You got nothing else to say about Nick Carter? Are we, did we get our feelings all checked out? Yeah, we good? I'm better. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay. Um, Now we're back to Podcast Kill the Video Star. We have just watched the Backstreet Boys, Shape of My Heart. But Aaron Carter, though. But Aaron Carter, though, Don't. because you know what? That motherfucker okay, is okay, full of Mono, shit, no, no, too. No. Now it's time to talk about your music oh, video okay. pick. What, what is your... Because I'd love to know what your definitive you early know, aughts 2000 music video is. As you can tell, I was tempted by Gaga. I love Gaga. Okay. Uh, we haven't talked about Have you always some been great a Gaga ones. fan? A monster? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at first, at very first, I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Like, when The Fame came out, I was like, I like Just Dance, but I don't know about this. These pop songs are so two-dimensional that I couldn't tell if I was going to live for them or not. Because a lot of the, you know, like, Bang Bang, Money Honey, like, these songs, have you heard? You haven't heard. They're so Mm two-dimensional. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, I respect you. (laughs) <laughs> but she is fantastic she is so talented she makes such fucking weird shit she to me is one of the lone standouts of 2000s however and yet and yet, and yet i did not pick her music video for interesting. today interesting because this music video needs light shown on it it is amazing there's storytelling there's dancing there is a pop princess stepping into her queen hood Mm. in this music video okay okay Okay. i chose britney spears toxic bam (sighs) bam shablam okay okay you pulled out the heavy guns this week okay you know sometimes i want to win and this week was a good one because it's interesting that we're talking about the 2000s being about denying your truth and feeling good because we all know that britney spears was denying her truth uh, during this period of her life, but still creating amazing art. Mm, mm, that's a good point. You know, and this song is produced by a lot of amazing people, like gigantic names in music. I forget, like some of these producers from Galantis. Also some other, oh God, what is it? Oh God, some other huge music personality. Yeah, it's Mike Snow or Mike Snow, I think his, that, that's yes. his other name. Um, they produced this song. Blood, sh- yeah, I mean, th- and it, it features a really cool um, sample from, like, old Bollywood film, That's which right. is, like, the song just mixes a lot of fun shit together. So let's just go ahead and watch this music And I think it was a say. cultural moment. I mean, it really was. Yeah. Everybody was obsessed with Toxic. Yeah. You can't not like it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a fun gay song, but you can't not like this yeah. song. It's the uh, bad romance of Britney Spears, I think. Wow. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You just, like, can't help but love it, no matter what. I mean, I don't know, I don't really know anyone who, like, hates Bad Romance. Like, I'm not a huge Lady Gaga fan, but I recognize the cultural milestone that was Bad Romance. The same thing with Britney Spears. I'm not, like, I don't know her music as much, but I definitely was salivating when Toxic came out. Because I was like, this this seems really elevated for Britney Spears. No offense to Miss Spears, but to me, I was like, oh, shit, this is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Let's get in. Yep, Let's get in. I'm off. too horny. Three, two, one. Toxic. Okay, we We're see crows right off the bat, and then a beautiful yes. CGI. Ooh, crunchy CGI graphics. It is right off. The Why bat. is the sky orange? 
Because it's and setting. We're zooming in to Miss Judy Jetson Hooker, Brittany. Wow. <laughs> the wig is... The back of the wig is a little messy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's funny like that... Like, Michelle would think... read her for this on the runway. Oh, yeah. But this is so... This is how far wig technology has come. Mm-hmm. Like, this at the time was a perfectly passable wig, but now we know... No. No, ma'am. No, honey. Okay, no, she, ma'am. she spilled a drink on this poor man, and yes. she's going really near his crotch, and he... She's... Seemed, okay, he's a little like, what the Yeah. Heck? She's dabbing, dab, dabbing. Okay. The passengers oh, okay. seem to be like kind of bopping along. Yeah. But more importantly, oh, she's giving Not us the, man with the sandwich flight attendant hand. choreo. Oh, no. Okay, they're she's flying over the Tokyo, man. I assume. It did look like it could have been a version of Tokyo. She's pushing this very everyday Joe type into. Oh, well. And then the there reveal you go. happened. He's a Swiss supermodel. Okay. Oh, great. Th- and thank God he's white. Thank God. Thank God he's um, white. <laughs> but oh, yeah, God, they're, they're making really going out, at it, huh? Oh. They are going deep. This video also, like, doesn't exist oh. in time. It's like, is it the 60s? Is it the future? Girl, what the fuck time is know. it? I don't know. Is this Alyssa Summers? <laughs> <gasps> it is so Alyssa Summers. And now she's riding a damn bike on the Champs Elysees with Tyson Beckford. Gorgeous, perfect Tyson Beckford. I mean, stunning. Oh my God, and shirtless too. Get out of here. My it is God. so disrespectful. It is really rude. This fucking. Okay, whoa, and, whoa. And, I'm oh dizzy. my God, I'm dizzy. what I'm is dizzy. happening? I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. What, what is the happening? Hell? What just happened? That was too much. Oh God, yeah. Oh, oh my wow. God, the storytelling is just cuckoo kachoo. Oh she broke gosh. into toxic industries. This uh, is she... giving me like perfect dark GameCube oh, graphics. Bitch. The house down. You're boots. right. Holy shit! It's that Nintendo 64 expansion <laughs> pack graphics. <laughs> oh. So she broke in lasers. She's she broke in. She's not a very good spy. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just wanted to show off because now she's dancing through the lasers and having too good of a time. Who's she telling to shush? Who is yes. she telling to shush? We in here, girl. Get yourself out of there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, didn't you what? just tell us what? to be quiet? Why are you shrieking? <laughs> Why shatter the glass <laughs> With your when you just evaded all the lasers? Yes. She's <sighs> supermanning up a building. What in the world? What's happening here? There is so Very much. famous actor. She's seducing now in her Black Widow cosplay. <laughs> New wig. <laughs> what the fuck? She's got super strength now? She okay, she's like... She just loves ass. to kiss men. Like... Yeah. I don't think this is part of her mission. Jesus being a whore. Yeah, but okay, she poisoned him and then kissed the poison. Wait, and then she flew and now she's back into the beginning of the video. Actually, that's I do like that. (laughs) And she's back at it again. You know what I mean? It's just another job for Miss Britney Spears. Just another day, baby. She's just flying cuckoo and then (laughs) She's flying cuckoo? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Cuckoo Airways. Cynthia Lee Fontaine has an airline. Come on, passengers. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) See, they're very rude at at hustling the passengers onto the plane. Come on. Do you want to see my Eiffel Tower? (laughs) (laughs) I really enjoyed the CD of Paris, France. <laughs> it's sexy as a goddess is and funny as a clam. <laughs> God, I love it. I love that it's Cuckoo Airways. Absolutely. <laughs> <Okay>. So <laughs> what is this music video about, Oscar? Well, it's a day in the life of spy of a spy. Britney Spears is truly giving us our alias life. I mean, she's really just doing what, uh, what's her name? Jennifer yep. Gardner did? Yes, Jennifer Garner, alias Fish. I mean, that was, that was, that just is her being alias. But you know, she's trying to get, like, what is the mission? The mission was to get a GPS device from a man's pocket. So she. It was. Can't poison him. him and kill him. No, 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 but the beginning, the guy on the plane. So she. Oh, right. Kissed him, which to me seems unnecessary. She pulled off the mask and then she no. just took took the beeper but from maybe his she pocket. pulled off the mask maybe she never intended to kiss him but then she was like okay but well no she kissed she, him think... with the mask on though oh you're right do you know what I mean? um, she probably touched his skin and was like this shit is rubber what do you really like 
Uh -huh. It was like a Scooby Doo uh -huh. episode. I was like, oh, this guy's hot. Let me just take advantage. So, you know, maybe let's get some. <laughs> let's let's send her to HR after one of her missions. Why, why don't we? Yeah. Do that, you know. I mean, Cuckoo Airways doesn't do that, <laughs> okay? Because Cuckoo wait, wait, Airways. Wait, wait, wait. So what you're saying is that she works for the she's Cuckoo a spy Airways. For the airway? Uh, yeah. She's so if this is Charlie's Cuckoo Angels. Mm. <laughs> if this is Charlie's Angels. She works under Charlie. In this case, it's Cynthia Lee Fontaine. <laughs> Cynthia yes. Lee Fontaine is Charlie. Yes. Yes. And she's like, how you doing, Miss Amore? <laughs> we got a mission for you today. <laughs> yeah, she had a mission for today. And, you know, I would say Cuckoo Airways, they're very loosey-goosey with their <laughs> HR policy because they're all about cuckoo. They don't exist. There's no yeah. HR person there. Uh uh, mm -mm. uh uh. They're all about sharing the cuckoo and having more junk in the trunk. <laughs> um. <laughs> How many silly funny references do you know? <laughs> I like, I love, I love Cynthia Lee Fontaine. I love Cynthia Lee Fontaine. <laughs> We love her so fucking much. She's incredible. When I'm sleeping with Joe Mangianello <laughs> and the cuckoo and the auga. Okay. So. Dead. I, look, I, for me, the layu of this is the iconic blue flight attendant moment. It is gorgeous. It is, it is, it's adding to the Britney canon. Um, yeah, that, that is the layu for mm -hmm. me. The zoom in, the reveal, bam, bitch. What's the layu it's for iconic. you? It's iconic. I have two layus. I have the, to me, the layu. The, mm, that's the not really how it goes, but okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The silliness okay. of the moment where she trips on a laser wire and then does this acrobatics. She <laughs> tells us to shut up, to then scream. <laughs> <laughs> to shut her the glass, but where is she going? <laughs> it's so unnecessary. It's so weird. It's so unnecessary. And we're like, Brittany. Those, who pitched this idea to the director? <laughs> well, it's a mashup of everything. It's like a mashup oh of Entrapment and Ocean's Eleven with a splash. But it's with just her like everything. Is she like a mutant or something? Does she have superhuman power? Know. She's she lifted this man from the belt buckle. The hard fronts, baby. The hard fronts. I mean, I don't know, girl. Like, it was so funny to me. And also, I mean, that banged wig in her like diamond encrusted. Uh, yeah. bodysuit was so iconic. To me, that is that the, that's is the look. That's the yeah, look. you're right. That is hot. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah. Yeah, Britney's hot. Britney's Britney tuning. Britney is hot. Yeah, this is a good pick, Mano. I have to but say. But it could go either way, though, because will people think this is iconic enough? Britney has some space on PKTVS. She Absolutely. has some space in the top 100. Will the listeners want her to take more space? Or they might be like, girl, we did it. Get her out of here. Yeah. Or, I mean, are they going to vote for my pick as the most de definitive 2000s music Ooh, video of all well, time? Well, why don't you go ahead and tell us more? Mm -hmm. Tell us, okay. tell us more. Tell us, tell us, tell us okay. more. Okay, she's a fan. We get it. Okay. I'm you, a fan. Black if there's Al one Red thing Red that Album. you learned today is that Mono loves Britney Spears and hates Nick Carter. So, <laughs> cute. That's true. Um, That's true. Okay, so for me, I'm going with uh to me what i think is the most iconic music video of the art and this is outcast hey ah period oh fuck. no i mean okay. this video needs no introduction it's got um yeah, this no. is at a time yeah, no, where outcast released a double cd where andre 3000 uh -huh. and big boy released their own cds uh the love uh -huh. below and speaker box and this is from andre 3000's uh the love below uh, Fuck yeah. And it was the first single paired with I Like the Way You Move by Big Boy. Um, bop, bop, bop. It's a great pop experiment. I don't know any yeah. other artist that was doing this at the time. Still marketing themselves at outca as outcasts, but also very much on the outs. Like slowly mm -hmm. being like, okay, we're about to split up because these are our own independent albums. Um, mm -hmm. But this music video is so iconic. I can't believe it hasn't been covered already in the podcast. So what a treat and joy yeah. for me to introduce Outcast Hey Ya to the children. I'm ready to play. Let's get in. Let's get in. It's okay. a good one. Ready? So count us in. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, okay now we, we got, got a skit. We got our skits with Big Boy. We got our skit. Now, Big Boy has a weird big 80s cell phone, which is interesting because this doesn't take place in a real distinct time, honestly. No, it's got... Yeah, it's a little bit sort of anachronistic. It's it's like 60s, it's like touches of 80s, it's got even like a bit of 2000s in there. Uh, and that drummer's kind of 90s to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. You mean you Andre know? 3000? Which is, he's yes, playing Andre... more than, he's playing the entire band. Right. Like below. Right. He's playing the whole band. His drummer character, I forget the names, even though all of them have, like, iconic names. But, God, he's cutie. Yeah. Um, so this is like and... the Ed Sullivan show. This is, this mirrors the Beatles. Who is sort that? Of... What? Who the fuck is that on our screen right now? Oh, that's right Ryan now? Phillippe. That's Cruel Intentions, Ryan Phillippe. I don't remember him and being in this. And a pork hat. No one. Yes. Yeah, this is uncredited. What the heck? That is so funny. Do you think they were just I, you friends know what? and they were like, just I do video? fuck with Ryan Phillippe. I'll fu- I fuck with Ryan Phillippe. Oh, I love him. He's great. Yeah, he's And hot. his age. Great. Oh my God. He's still so tight and right. Um, ooh, we got, okay. So look, the song <laughs> smacks you in the face. The song is so great because it's also like impossible to tie down what genre this is. Like, it is borrowing from everything. It is borrowing from hip-hop, rock, like, very old 60s R&B. Yes, absolutely. It's everything. It's everything. It's a great song. It, it's mm-hmm. musically really complex. Like, Yes. But also, the, <laughs> this music video is so complimentary to the song, I think. Even Agreed. the color story, like... It's, yeah. it's so great. It's fantastic. And there's a fucking coffin on stage. Oh my god, so you're wonder, right. Is this like about the death? Is this about well, the, the death? Well, the lyrics are actually kind of sad because it's about an inevitable breakup, which, interestingly yeah. enough, can be said about <clears throat> excuse me, Outcast's oh. career, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, you're saying you feel like this was the beginning of the end for Outcast. I mean, they're not together, so... Yeah. Yeah. But it's so sad because obviously, like we were saying, we are talking about 90s last week, but like they were also like pioneers in hip-hop. Yeah. They created their own music label. They, of course, got so popular. They blew up in this way where pop culture wanted them too. I love this family. This family this is adorable. <clears throat> they're perfect. They have but like also a living outside of an era. They, some TV. of them are dressed as sixties, and some of the kids are dressed yeah. in nineties and two thousands. So, and all how these much women do you love all? Yes. are also dressed like contemporary. Some of them are dressed like literally. Yeah. The the casting call must have been like, yeah, just show up, and we'll put you in this video. And how much do you love all these personalities? Which I've got to say, he's nailing the performance on all of these people. Absolutely, absolutely. Like the, the jockeys, the drummer, the weird, cute, dorky piano player. Mm-hmm. Like, I love. Which one of these I do you want to flirt so... with? Who would Which I one flirt of these, with? Huh? <clears throat> yeah. I would... Well, I want like, you to I guess. Because would... there's an obvious answer. You... Okay, keyboards. Yeah. You want keyboards. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. I love it. Yeah. I might... You, you, you'd hit the, uh, the drummer. You're right. You're right. He's given me that danger, well, smooth danger. He's not yeah. like danger, danger. He's just like He's shirtless and you're, a little... and you're, you're, you're perfect. So, yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's you, Thank Mano. You're, you. that, you're that woman. The lady? Ooh. I'm covering my ears. I can't hear. Joke. Comedy. That joke. That's that a joke is for that's y'all. A there you go. But I do want to say, remember the shake at like a Polaroid picture thing? Do you remember the retort where people were like, um, actually, you're not supposed to shake a Polaroid picture. So dumb. So dumb. So boring. You know what sucks about this song is it was too successful and it became a theme park song. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Yeah. I defy you to go into any theme park on any given day and not hear this song. It won't happen. Which is funny because the lyrics are so tragic, but no one cares because they're just dancing. He literally calls out in the lyrics, like, why are we so in denial when we know we're not happy here? And the next lyric before the chorus is, oh, y'all don't want to hear me. You just want to dance. I mean, and if that isn't, honestly, if that isn't the vibe of the 2000s, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but 
If this there isn't the vibe of the 2000s, I don't know what there is. There you go. Hey, there you go. We did not we did not want to face any truths. We just wanted to feel good mm-hmm. and go, I'm mm-hmm. dancing. I'm yep. having fun. Yeah. Quick denial as the world is crumbling beneath us. Sound familiar? <laughs> Die. Woo! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, I'm just partying. I'm just embracing my 2000s energy in the year 2022 because I've never needed it more. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, never mm-hmm. needed that denial energy more. Oscar. No, wow. Ma, no. I have to ask you, babe. Damn what is it. this video about? What's going on? Hey, y'all. This is a very fun video. And this is this is about all the sides of Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. This is a, a tale of how pop music wants to make him one person, but he's so many people. So he is the love below. He is the whole band. He is every part of this. That's why this song is so, you know, what's the word I want to use? Um all over the place in its musical stylings and uh andre 3000 is so talented he's an actor he's everything he's a writer he's a producer he can do it all and i think this was a reflection of that and i think a reflection of i don't know he of uh you know we're in a fucked up world but you know what all y'all want from me is a good time so here we go Mm -hmm. i think that's what this is about yeah i think you're correct i think that's cool you forgot yeah. to mention uh, Ryan Phillippe part and the fact that Big Boy was their manager, I think. Yeah, that was fascinating. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. It's it's such a 2000s song. Such it a is 2000 such song. a moment. Uh, what is the layu for you? The layu for me is, first of all, clocking Ryan Phillippe as someone in this video. That to me wow. was like, what the hell is going on here? Uh, wow. Really uncredited. Like, yeah, so so wild he's just like in the video which is crazy um wild but it it's the different personalities being showcased and done so well and intricately it's it it could have been poorly executed but it was just a flawless music video Mm -hmm. what's the layout for you Damn, um, the lay you, the lay you, the lay you, I've got to say is, um, Andre 3000. I just, I just, I guess I'm going to say the, jo- the, the, the trio, the jockey trio. Yeah. I think they're so funny. It's so haters. stupid. The love haters. Yeah, they're so stupid. Their finger movements are so dumb. Um, yeah, that's going to have to be it for me mm-hmm. on this video. It's, um, He's already playing so many personalities, and it's extra stupid that he's also playing, like, a group of triplets. Yes. You know? It's great. I would see this show. I would see the Love Uh, Below show. I would love to see this show. Man, Mm -hmm. and I want to know what Andre 3000 is doing these days. Because, like... Well, I think he's acting now, isn't he? Yeah. Is he still doing his acting thing? I think so. Or he's just, like, chilling. He's just, like, taking it easy. I mean, he got him. He makes checks on this song alone. Every Aye, game year. girl. I mean, do you really need to work ever again after making Hey Ya? I don't think so. I remember he was in Four Brothers, which is like a really serious like movie. Yeah, that's what I said. He's acting. Yeah, he's really doing it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, he's still working. I'm just looking it up on IMDb. He's still working, doing the damn thing. Wow, love it. Incredible. Okay, bitch. We have to. We have to now give little cases as to why one only and only one of these music videos gets to move forward to be the best music video or definitive, I should say, right. of the arts. Right, right. So Do, I'll, I'll start. I'll start with. Okay. We just saw Hey, I mean, I said it. I wrapped it up at the very last second. It's. Mm-hmm. Mono was right. The 2000s was this weird time of like the happiest, overproduced, silliest pop music during the, one of the toughest economic downfalls i mean we're going through dare i say 9 11 um yeah i think that is a big part of it it's a reaction to that yeah so like people were just like really lost i mean we had the bush administration sort of reigning supreme it was a pendulum swing back to conservative values and so Mm -hmm. pop music was sort of being like you know despite all of this Mm -hmm. we can dance and hey y'all is a straight address to that in a more personal manner Uh, it's about a breakup but it's also like we're gonna showcase fun colors a great little gimmick and we're gonna have beautiful women dancing to distract you from what's really going on so to me it is the definitive 2000s music video now why do you think toxic's 
uh, not toxic. Britney Spears' music video for Toxic deserves yes. a top spot in the countdown. Bitch, it's Britney. It's fun. It's stupid. You get choreo. You get storytelling. You get the Lukes from Britney. You get it all. You get every piece of the puzzle you ever wanted. She's doing what she does so well. I mean, you can't deny it. And I don't care if you're gay, straight, or in between. You like this song. It's well produced. It has all the right people behind it, giving it this complicated, funky, different sound, which is so 2000s. So, toxic she bitch. You know, you know it. and glass shatters. Mm-hmm. And she gets to ride on Tyson Beckford's back. Yes. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Now, I'm going to ask you an impossible question. No, ma'am. Can you make a case as to why the Backstreet Boys Shape of My Heart belongs in the top spot of the most definitive 2000s music video? <clears throat> well, this is going to be a hard one. But I will have to think about my friend Acid Berry and say what she says, which is RuPaul. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's my argument for Shape of My Heart. That was nonsense. (laughs) (laughs) You can't do that. You can't cheat. Look, look, I, this is, look, if you love boy bands, if you love emotional ballads, and I will say, you know, Backstreet Boys, they cemented their position as the boy, the ballad boy band. This is them cementing that. They're saying, hey, we're not going to do the dancey, poppy thing that NSYNC is doing. We're going to own our ballads. If you like that, you should vote for this music video. How about you? Yeah. I think this video has a very targeted audience. I mean, people who grew up with the Backstreet Boys, there will be votes for this video. I'm pretty sure there will be. Um, but, you know, I... Does it stand the test of time? In my version, where there are ghosts haunting a theater, it does. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. In that version, I'll fuck with it. Yeah, exactly. On my version, I'll fuck with it. Um, but guess what? We're stupid, and no one cares what we like. Right. No one does. We only care what you like, That's baby. Right. And we'll like whatever you like, because... All you got to do is go to Instagram and go to Podcast Kill the Video Star and like the post for the corresponding video. And the one with the most votes gets to move to the top 100 music video list of all time. Yes! So go get into it. Go to our Instagram. Get involved wherever you're watching or listening. If you're on YouTube, you got to do all the subscribing and liking and commenting. And like we said earlier, go give us an Apple Podcast or Spotify review with the five stars and the writing and the words in it, too, please. Absolutely. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. What's up? I just got a message on my sidekick, on my Excel spreadsheet, on my sidekick. (laughs) Oh, my God. Is it no matter what I do? Does it start (laughs) that way? No, actually. Wait a second. What's wrong? What what is it? Wait. (gasps) Wait, did you check your sidekick as well? Let me check my sidekick. Open Excel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know what you did last 2000s. And I got, I still know what you did last 2000s. They know, Oscar. They know that we We killed killed MTV. MTV. (laughs) What are you waiting for? (laughs) 